isn't it magic just by giving prompt you can script any person linkedin url and you will get exact information like the name role connection company linkedin url snippet and when it was scrape at and if you watch my earlier video just by passing linkedin url you can scrape their linkedin profile all the information from linkedin profile as well as their whatever post they are making just think of combining this both the workflow and you have a thousand to five thousand dollar workflow ready to pitch to any client so today video we are going to see how we can make this possible and stick to the end because and then i'll be showing you how you can download this workflow for 100 percent free so let's get started so this is the workflow which you're going to create today so first we need a chat input trigger so this trigger you can replace with anything this input can come from telegram whatsapp slack anywhere okay so for the simplicity purpose i have just using the chat input trigger and over here you can pass the normal prompt over there then this is the main brain the main beauty which converts this to a proper format which can be consumed later okay so now if i go inside you can see there is a long prompt which i'm using the main purpose of this prompt is to extract the information from whatever user is saying so for example i have given the example below so for my example you can see i am giving the input find founder on linkedin who raised series a in last six months we want to search for series a recently funded last six months raised, raised funding okay and keyword is founder ceo series a funding startup okay this is how intelligent it is to transform the normal raw text into the proper data which we can use ahead okay and if you see for our case which was scrape me AI engineer or data scientist who are working in startup as you can see the platform is linkedin the role it is looking for is kind of AI engineer machine learning engineer ml researcher data analyst and lead count is 10 over here okay in the filter it is startup early stage startup venture backed location we are not mentioned you can also mention the location it should be from mumbai it should be from delhi it should be from new york it could be anywhere okay keyword these are the keywords which you are looking for okay and we want this thing in a proper structured format so for that we have triggered this uh, specific output format okay and as we can see inside the output parser over here i am using this parser when i am telling that i want platform roles lead count filter location and keyword this all thing to be should be there in my output over there so as you can see we are getting the same thing in our output platform roles lead count filter location and keyword and for the model i am using gpt 4.1 mini okay and to get this node, you can go in the plus icon, search for chain and you will get this basic LLM chain. Okay. So if you are worried about this prompt, where you can get this prompt, stick to the end because I'll be showing you how you can get this workflow and all the prompt or code, which I'll be using in the upcoming part of the video. So once now we have this information, now it's time to convert this information into the Google search format where we can search for the LinkedIn URL. For example, this is one of the search it will make. It is something like we are saying that I want to search from this site, LinkedIn.com. I want to search for a senior data analyst and it should be kind of remote work. If I search this, I'll get all the results from the, from the LinkedIn channel only because we are searching for LinkedIn part over there and it will search for the senior data analyst over here. So as you can see home data analyst and something like that. Okay. And now if I search this kind of uh, US designer in Google, Meta or Apple. Now, now you can see we are getting all this information regarding this part only Google uh, user interface designer, then Apple UX job. Then the uh, UI UX portfolio uh, from design at Google, Google UX job in Bangalore, Karnataka. So as you can see, we are getting information what we are searching. This all information need to be converted. Okay. So for that purpose only, we have this node, which is the specialized to for LinkedIn search builder. So now if I run this part, so as you can see, we are getting this search query where it is saying that from LinkedIn, I need a uh, AI engineer, machine learning engineer, data scientist or data analyst or ML researcher from a startup or early stage company or venture back. So the code over here is doing this thing only. It is taking the input from the AI query parser and converting into the format where we can search properly. Now, once we have the search query, now it's time to use the Google search engine, which is called a SERP API. So SERP API is the API which allow us to search Google by just passing the query over there. Okay, so how to go over there? So for that, you can go online, search for SERP API and you will get this search api.com slash dashboard. We just need to do the sign in and by default you will get the in a free plan you will get 100 searches per month i think that's enough for you to get started so it will ask for the free plan we need to verify your account so you just verify your account with the email id and phone number okay so once you have confirmed your email id and your mobile number you will bring to this dashboard so as you can see i have 100 searches left over here and there is my api key over there just copy this api key don't show it to anyone if you want to you can show it to everyone because they can only do the 100 searches Okay, so once you copy this uh, API key, so now it's time to do the searching. So for the uh, so for the searching, a method will be get, and this will be the URL subapicom search.json. Okay, in the query parameter, we need to search uh, using uh, field below, 
then we need to pass name as google in the queue queue means query what we want to search we passing whatever uh, query search we had generated in the api key just pass it api key over here but i have a very amazing trick for you never ever pass your api key directly over there because there are two possibility i have mentioned the same thing in the previous video but i will repeat it because it is that important okay two possibilities are there one you want to give your template to someone else if you're giving your template to someone else and by downloading it they will be seeing your api key over here if you have forgotten to remove this okay and second thing is you might be requiring to use the same api key in the multiple node ahead where you're using the sub api so it's best to create one time variable and use it continuously so for that i'll remove this from here then i'll go to the authentication i'll search for generic credential type i'll search for the query auth i'll create new query i'll be there where i'll write the same thing api underscore key and paste the api key and give a proper naming and save it so now it will work in the same sense and last thing we forgot to mention is kind of a num how many result we want so i'll be passing this and we'll be getting a lead count over here and now it's time to execute step now if i execute it i'm getting all the result over here okay so now you can see there are two main results over here and in the organic result we'll, we'll be getting our main result over here and you can see we have position title link then display snippet this so we need to format this thing properly so for that there is one code over here which is doing the job of formatting so if i execute this part so now as you can see we're getting the data in proper format we have the name we have the role company how many connections linkedin url snippet scripted everything over here okay i'll tell you how you can get this code don't worry at the end of this video okay so now once we have this thing now it's time to store in our google sheet so in google sheet i have mentioned this all column where is the name is there role is there connection company linkedin url email snippet okay so once you have everything the column ready it's time to come over here map each column uh, manually and it's kind of operation is kind of append operation or append row okay so we need to append the name role connection company linkedin url just drag and drop from here and here okay and when you execute this step this is how it will look like so just tell me in the comment how did you like this workflow because this is an amazing workflow you can just give the natural language query and it will process all the data and give you the script result over there and now if you combine this thing with the earlier video which i have made where by just giving the linkedin profile you can get all the linkedin profile information with the post information as well now it's time to see how we can get this workflow so for that you can go to my school community inside of school community you can go to my classroom youtube resources now you will be seeing this linkedin lead scraping automation where you can see the same workflow which we have you can see the ai prompt which i'm using the whole prompt is over here then there is a linkedin search builder the, the whole code is over here lead data formatter the whole code is over here and if you don't want to copy and paste everything over here you can just go in the bottom part you can just click on this end and template and you can have everything over there you don't have to do manually okay you can just click on it download it and you can just run on an editor workflow so i hope you like the video please press the like button subscribe to my channel it helps me to make such videos for you it motivates me and also helps the youtube to push my video for more people who wants to look such kind of a content so we'll meet in the next video till then take care